just in time. One last box. Oh, well, hi, Kelly. And bye, Kelly, if you think you're getting those corn pops. How's it going, Brian? As in going away without the pops? Oh, uh, you shopping? Oh, man, she's not moving. Uh-huh. Oh, no, he's not budging. If I don't get that last box... With the sweet crunchy taste, man. Absolutely, That's it. I'm going for it. Price check. Kellogg's Corn Pop Cereal is part of this complete breakfast. Gotta have my pops. Yeah. Throttle, Vinny, Moto, Biker Mice on battle bikes with the firepower to stop the evil Plutarchians. Catch this, Carbuncle! Gets me every time. Skip his way, Xaxas Vermin! No way, Fish Face! <laughs> grease pedal, grease them! Grease this! Whoa! Time to rock and ride! Biker Mice from Mars, bikes and figures, each sold separately, new from Galoo. <laughs> witnessing a new technology. The first and only game powered by the Super FX microchip. Why go to the next level when you can go light years beyond? You are Fox McCloud in Star Fox, only for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Eight times more power. Eight times more ammo. Eight times more trouble. Nerf Master Blaster Double Barrel Pump Action Power. Tomato War! As giant mutant tomatoes raged across our land, these hybrid horrors wrought havoc and lowered property values wherever they appeared. But now, five years later, things are returning to normal. Under federal law, tomatoes are banned. It is illegal to eat, own, transport, or sell a tomato. And now, in the opinion of this reporter, the tomato threat is over. Ugh. <laughs> Disgusting. You wouldn't laugh if you'd seen what I saw in the war. Ah, come on there, Wilbur. Uh, turn the TV back on. Yeah, we're missing professional roller bowling. This is Whitley White, coming to you from the Sam Tara? Are you in here? Good job, FT. Thanks, Chad. You know you're supposed to stay away from salt. If someone sees you change into a tomato, we're all in trouble. FT can pass as a dog, but you're a, a girl. There was an open box of salt on the shelf, and I didn't see it. <laughs> Being a luscious, ripe tomato can be hard on a girl. Why did Doc Gang Green have to make you allergic to salt? It was a mistake, like all of his experiments. What's holding up those pizza boxes, kids? Coming, Uncle Wilbur!
This is Igor Smith here at the secret laboratory of Dr. Pietri T. Gangrene. Igor, you slacker! Where are you? Coming, master! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Ow. Whoa. I'm over here! Yes, yes! <laughs> the secret ingredient, the magic elixir, the essence of genius. They said it couldn't be done. You said it couldn't be done. Electronic control of vegetables. <laughs> but I, using just six milk bottles and a tuning fork, have discovered how to drive tomatoes into a frenzy. <laughs> the proper combination of tones will do it. One. <laughs> and they called me mad. Me, the first man to domesticate the wild turnip. That's it. That's it. Today, San Zucchini. Tomorrow, the world. Yeah. <laughs> when I blow this whistle, any tomato that hears it will instantly attack. I'm so simple, I'm positively brilliant. Calculated, sue me. Little do you know that I have a plan. Hey, boss, you got a plan? Who said I got a plan? You did, just now. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, I do. And I'll be able to use you. So listen carefully, you goofballs. What is it, Uncle Wilbur? My latest creation. Mayonnaise and red snapper. Ugh! Pass! Uh, <laughs> maybe later. Uh-oh! Uh, here, boy, uh, try a piece of this. Those kids don't know what's good. Of course, we didn't have pizzas in the Great War. No, we starved. Or sometimes we ate the enemy. Yes, yes. Uh, Wilbur, my man, uh, we're, uh, you know, uh, eating. Yeah, and missing the game. Oh, you kids today just don't understand what we went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mark my words. There are tomatoes among us. Deliver this peanut butter and onion pizza to Whitley White down at the television station, please, Chad. Okay. Stop this childish complaining. If not for me, my brothers, we would all starve. Aha! It's party time. Now, my comrades. Hurry, my faithful Red Guards. Let's boogie! Hey, tomatoes! Here, in San Zucchini! I've got to warn Uncle Wilbur! As soon as I deliver this pizza... I'm going to grab a quick pizza before the 5 o'clock... Say, what is this? You're not the pizza delivery boy. He's a very smart capitalist. Why, you're... Dramatic pause. Tomatoes! You got some brain there, Anchorhead. You know... I could do a dandy exclusive interview with you. Yeah, maybe later. First, we gotta kidnap you. Get him, comrades! Just a minute! Nobody kidnaps Whitley White. At least not off camera! Uh, this is Whitley White, exclusive live from the scene of my own kidnapping. Tomatoes invaded the studios of KRUD TV today in a daring attempt to abduct this reporter. Oh my golly gosh! Retreat, my brothers! Let that be a lesson to you. Nobody gets the best of Whitley White. Who? What? Where? When? And most importantly, why? <laughs> Sorry to do this to you, Whitster, but it's either your career or mine. As for you bogus veggies, take our friend here to the hideout and make sure he's, <laughs> like, comfortable, you know? Now I'm trying not to mess up. I'll take over here. <clears throat> this 
this is your substitute anchorman, Igor Smith, with all the latest breaking stories after this word from our sponsors. Ow! All right. I can't believe those tomatoes stole my skateboard and were able to ride it. Uh-oh. Careful, you fool. Don't bruise the merchandise. It's 5 o'clock, and this is Igor Smith with the news. Top story tonight, nothing happened in San Zucchini today. And That's the not Whitney, right? White. It's some new guy. <laughs> it's Igor, Dr. Gangreen's assistant. My dog and baby. Something's wrong down at KRUD. That's where Chad went. I just know he's in trouble. I've got to go to him. Hey, Tara! Kids. Ah, uh, good dog. The day will be bright until sundown, when night will bring increasing darkness. It's working! My master plan! Soon I shall rule the world! Soon, my little ones, we shall triumph! Ha <laughs> ha! Big budget special effects, huh? You'll never get away with this. I already have, my friend. My trusty pals and I. Now, where'd they go? Ah, shut up and deal. What are you doing? You're supposed to be watching the prison and not playing cards. How are you doing that? You ain't got no hands. <laughs> oh, again with the grumbling. You wait till we get paid. You won't grumble then. I knew it. Now if I can just sneak off and get some help. Uh, do you think we can talk this over? out. Chad, are you all right? Tara! No! Looking for this? Is she a friend of yours? She was my own creation. She betrayed me. But I shall have the last laugh. <laughs> yes, now you'll see what happens to those who thwart the will of me. What? You know what I mean. You're not so dumb. Now then, imagine if you will. I said, imagine if you will. Tonight, when I blow my tomato whistle over KRUD TV, and the tomatoes hear it. They will sweep down on San Zucchini. <laughs> yes, warning. Not even a tree will be left standing. And I shall be master of San Zucchini. What's left of it? <laughs> Today, San Zucchini. Tomorrow, the world. Well, what do you think? I think you're mad. Mad? Me? Nonsense. I'm just angry. I'm an angry scientist. Not mad? No, no, no. Angry. Do you understand? I'm angry. Now, <laughs> I'm going to show you just how angry I am. <laughs> I 
love the tomatoey smell of lasagna in the evening. <laughs> Chad, my boy, looks like the horse is on the other foot now. <laughs> That's FT. I know his bark anywhere. Well, nobody's getting past us. Come on, you guys. Let's stand our ground. Coward! I spit on your antipasto. Hold it right there. Catch a breath. Wait for me, guys! Thanks, Uncle Wilbur. FT, go find Tara. She's, well, you know. Why, you're Whitley White. You're absolutely right. But please, no time for autographs now. You must take me to the television station before some callow imposter gets an exclusive interview that should be mine. Huh? Come on, the tomatoes are coming. Charge! Hey, wait! Great. Adults. Stand back, F.T. Uh, where am I? I'll explain later. We've got to catch Uncle Wilbur before he leaves. Where's these tomatoes? We've got to hurry. There's trouble at the studio. The studio? Well, well, what is it? It's a big room full of lights and cameras where they make television shows. But that's not important now. We have to stop the broadcast. Well, uh, okay. See here. <clears throat> Open this door. Go away. We're closed. You must let me in. I'm Whitley White, anchorman extraordinaire. Whitley White's on vacation. Go away. Now you listen here. But if you're not on vacation as you claim, then why are you outside? Because you let me in. You've got to get in and get that whistle. Do your stuff, FT. <laughs> Where's the studio? Follow me! How much longer? Only three more commercials, your mad doctor ship. I told you not to call me that, tricky boy. Well, I know I'm a big disappointment to you, not being cross-eyed, hunchbacked, and drooling, all that. Oh, but I can fake it. How's this, okay? The bells! The bells! <laughs> there it is! Where? Over there! Light! Do your stuff, FT. Follow that mutant! Three minutes to air, Doc! Don't talk! Run! And don't call me, Doc! Look! Tomato! Uh-huh. Hm. Grab that little 
wart, Igor. See if he has the whistle. Hand over the whistle, you little wart, dude. I don't have it. Persuade. Let me go. <laughs> Nickel. Penny. Oh, yo, yo. All right. Oh, <laughs> dude. I'm Igor Smith, and this is I on San Zucchini. My guest tonight is the world-renowned scientist, Dr. Pietro T. Gangrene. All right. Thank you, Igor. Yes, I'm a scientist. A mad, uh, uh, angry. An angry scientist, and uh, I am going to rule the world. <laughs> With this. <laughs> Good night, San Zucchini. Wherever you are. <laughs> Oh, tomatoes that look like duckies. Excellent trick, your geniusness. You doofus! We've been snookered! Quick, to the tomato counter! Turn off that soundtrack! I don't understand your research and development ship. <laughs> don't you dig the music? What? Uh, if only I could get some decent help. Chad! Tara! Hmm, kind of a catchy tune. E yeah! Hi, Uncle Wilbur. Oh, pity they missed all the excitement. Kids! the laboratory of Dr. Pietro T. Gangrene, an angry scientist on the cutting edge of his field. Yes, and that is? Electronic control of vegetables, Igor. I am going to rule the world. Heavy. And doctor, perhaps some of our younger viewers are considering a career in science. Could you tell us what first inspired your interest in experimentation? Certainly. At the age of six, I ate an entire lawnmower. <laughs> Sounds tasty. Back to you in the studio, Whitley. Don't touch that dial, because you can watch me in all new episodes of The Simpsons, beginning this Thursday, right here on Fox. Oh, and by the way, check out Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates weekdays on Fox, man. We were at the Crunchberry cereal exhibit, munching that cranked up berry head. Well... Maybe some more crunch berries will help you get the picture. I've got the crunch berries. And how about this picture? Cool. Picture perfect. Crunch berry cereal is the colorfully crunchy good part of a balanced breakfast. Time for another bite. Sounds good to me. You and the captain make it happen. There's something strange in the neighborhood. So who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Venkman, Stan, and Spangler are here. So are these ah, ghosts. They've got ectoplasm. We've been gooped. Now what? Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activate Neutrona Blaster. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Peter Venkman, ectoplasm, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. Just a cheetah here. Now there's a cheesy snack so hip, it's on everyone's lip. New Cheetos Wild Fangs. They're giving me serious hunger pangs. Cause my kids, rhinos, who 
orangutans. Whole dang gang's got wild fangs. About time I got mine. Serious hunger pangs call for new Cheetos Wild Fangs cheese flavored snacks. The cheese that goes crunch. I got the ball that lets you reach all the sky. I got the ball that lets you fly, fly, fly. Higher and higher. I'm a pogo ball master. I got the ball. I'm a pogo ball master. If a pogo power is your desire, go get the ball that takes you higher. I'm a pogo ball master. Pogo ball master. I got the ball. I'm a pogo ball master. Felicia, this spell can only be used on machinery, never against a living being, especially not a cyborg. Oh, Master Jenny, I learned that lesson when I was just a kitten. All right, let's see what else you've learned, shall we? You must pass this test if you want permission to go on your soul quest. Now, Felicia, catch it! Thank you, Captain O'Hare, for taking time to bring Jenny here for this important occasion. Oh, no trouble at all, ma'am. I... Uh, your Highness. Aye! Where Jenny's concerned, we're always glad to be helpful. Uh, just what is this important occasion, anyhow? I'm sorry, but I cannot discuss the matter with outsiders. Jenny, it's too fast for my spells. Without patience and inner calm, Felicia, a quark demon cannot be tamed or put to use. You must learn to focus your powers. Gosh, that's an Alder Baron sensor. They really are magic. Jenny, I didn't see... I, I mean, I, I didn't mean to... Uh, I mean... Oh. Willie, I know it wasn't your fault, but you've seen one of the most vital secrets of the artificers. I, I wouldn't tell anyone, honest. Master Jenny, no one outside the Order knows about the Quark Demons. Felicia, I trust Willie. If he swears never to reveal our secrets, then our secrets are safe. I promise, Jenny. I swear, cross my heart. Uh, hi, I'm Willie DeWitt, Warp Engineer, United Animals Frigate, the Righteous Indignation. Pleased to meet you. Uh, how do you do? I'm Princess Felicia, granddaughter of the High Artificer. 
I'm about to go on my soul quest. When you're ready, Felicia, you'll go. Oh, Master Jenny, you're so... so fussy! I am ready! I am! Don't walk, sir. I've located a source of powerful energy coming from the center of the Dark Heart Nebula. Let me see. What is it? What does it mean? Well, I don't know exactly, sir, but it's the strongest single source of stellar power I've ever seen. Navigator, set course for the center of the Dark Heart Nebula. <laughs> None of our sensors are working. It must be the, the ionic disturbance of the nebula. This looks bad. We'll be lost forever. We gotta turn back now. Reverse course. <laughs> 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 The inferior second-rate shoddy tool will be the space junk! Well, all the Baron senses were working there, sir. You know the ones like uh, Bucky O'Hare uses? O'Hare. All the Baron senses. Hold our position while I scan my memory banks. Strange power. What I need is an old bearer. Thank you, Jenny, for testing Felicia. I hope she wasn't too upset that she didn't pass her test. Perhaps with a few more months of practice. If she can learn patience, well, your captain is waiting. Farewell. Soul Quest. I'll show all of you that I can't do it. Don't walk, sir. And all the Baron ship has just appeared. Activate the tractor beams. Capture that ship. Grandmother, can you hear me? Grandmother, oh please, help! Now, Mother, I've been captured by toads outside the nebula. You know what you must do. Destroy your senses. I will send help. Recalibrating her sensors. And the ship's off limits to anybody else until she's done. You, Bucky? Mimi, I was just on my way to. Oh, don't be silly. You can go there anytime. Wouldn't you like to see the work on my ship, just you and me? Well, let's go then. Strict orders! No one is to enter! Yeah, but... It's all right, Blinky. I'm finished up there. Now we can... Dire news. Felicia left on her soul quest without permission. She's been captured by toads at the Dark Heart Nebula. I'll go there at once. Willie, I want you to leave the ship at once and take Blinky. What's going on? 
Is it about Felicia? I don't have time to explain. Go! No way! You're not taking the ship without me! What if you need an engineer? I'll take that chance. Blinky, front and center. I am hastening to obey first mate, Jenny. That's my door! You can't take off of my door and not take me. Uh, what if something happened to the ship and I can never get home again? <sighs> I guess you're right. You win. But if things go wrong, you've got to use the door to escape. Blinky, record a message. One day, I was at the swamp with a real warty babe when a big bully came up and kicked Bob in my face. Oh, Seymour, you're such a wimp. Then I discovered Arnold Wartenegger's Toad Power Physical Culture Program. I set away from my Toad Power muscle machine that same day. And in just a few short weeks... <laughs> yes, with Arnold Wartenegger's amazing Toad Power muscle machine, I never have to worry about bullies again. <sighs> what are you doing? I said to torture her, you mindless tad, not bore her. Get out of here! You will take me into the Dark Heart Nebula. I won't, no matter what you do to me. You should not have said that. I had to take the ship. I can't explain without betraying the Sisterhood. If we don't return, we're proud to have served with you. Jenny, out. Cats. Huh. Everyone knows you can't trust them. I'd trust Jenny with my life. For that matter, I have more times than I can count. I'd go to the ends of the Anniverse to help her. If only I knew which end she was in. This humble robot took liberty of attaching homing device to ship. Blinky, you are the greatest. Okay, everybody, let's go. Uh, Bucky, what are we gonna go in? Good point. I'll uh, probably regret this, but we can take my ship. Come on. Toadbug, sir! It's the righteous indig 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 I can see that, you fool. Go to full alert. This is the United Animals Frigate. Righteous indignation. Release your prisoners immediately. Our maser cannons are locked onto your engines. We can leave you drifting out here forever. Yeah, forget calling them into thinking as dead eye at the guns. Not before I reduce you to scrap metal. And if you want what I've got, you had better surrender immediately. Or she won't live another minute. Don't listen, Master Jenny! Master Jenny? Hmm. Why would I want the pupil when I can have the master? Give me your answer! All right, Toadborg, here is the deal. You let Felicia go free, unharmed, and I will take you into the nebula myself. No, Jenny, you mustn't! Silence, you mangy warm blood! Toadborg, hurt her again. I won't rest until I've torn you apart, bolt by bolt! Your threats are worthless! You will come aboard my ship immediately! Not until you release Felicia. If you want her, you'll have to come and get her inside the nebula! Break contact. Toborg! He'll never find his way out again. What do you think you're doing? Getting ready for battle. We have to go in after him. You are going through that door where it's safe. I'm not going to leave you when you need me the most. Willie. You have to focus your powers, right? Like you told Felicia. How can you pilot the ship and use your powers at the same time? <sighs> All right, Engineer DeWitt. You win again. Ready the Toad Croaker for flight. The Croaker? 
But it doesn't have any Aldebaran sensors on it. We Aldebarans have gone into this nebula on our soul quests for generations. We don't need sensors. You'll be lost in here forever. No one will ever find you. Your master Jenny will come. You mammals care too much for one another. Release Felicia! She stays with me until I learn the secret of this nebula. Lead on. All right, Willie. Fly heading to Mark IV. This is incredible! My electronics are fluctuating, going crazy! It will only get worse. We can turn back now! Never! Deep within, I am still a toad, and that part of me always functions. What is it? The most powerful and dangerous energy source in the galaxy. The ancient father of all quarks. All that power? Mine? I will drink the power of the stars themselves! Togborg, don't disturb it! You have no idea what it can do! I didn't bring you along for advice, Mammal. This will get you out of my way! <laughs> Sisterhood. We are all with you! It's, it's working! He's getting weaker! Sisters, it's not enough! He's fighting back! Take all our power, all our strength! Look out! Come on! Come on! Felicia! Felicia, help us! Send me your power! Felicia! Jenny? I'm so scared. I must help them. I must join with the others. Jenny, I'm with you. Take my power. Hey, these little guys are like the ones in the garden. Is this where all your core demons come from? Very perceptive, Willie. That's the purpose of the Soul Quest. This is where each Aldebaran must come to gain her full mastery over this power. We did it, Master Jenny! We put the Quark back to sleep! Without you, we would never have won the battle. Me? I don't understand. I'm just one person. That's right, one. You're the one that made the difference. Now, Felicia, it's time to get what you came for. Yes, Master Jenny. From the heart of darkness, I have conquered the light of the stars. And the light you have won this day will never fade. Your mastery is complete, Artificer. Back to the ship! Hurry! You'll we'll never make it! <laughs> it 
Take this, scum suckers! Another mammal frigate! We're outnumbered! I'm getting a signal from Toadbog! He's drifting in space! Get a fix on him! Navigator, get us out of here! <laughs> Look at the slimy cowards run! Mammals run, Toad's nothing. This is Captain Bucky O'Hare to First Mate Jenny. You are ordered to take the righteous indignation to Alder Baron on the double. O'Hare out. Yes, Captain. Ah, uh, don't worry, Jenny. He'll understand. He'll see. Activate the tractor beam! Did you find it, sir? Find what? The, the power source, sir, inside the nebula. What power source? What nebula? Well, but my instruments said that... Your instruments are malfunctioning, you menial fly chaser. Fix them! <laughs> Yes, your toad ship. Ah, does nothing on this ship work right? Princess Felicia has touched the heart of darkness and returned. She is now sister to us all. Thanks to you and Jenny. And you are a true hero, Willie DeWitt. Oh, gosh. I... I know I don't deserve to be forgiven. It's the worst thing I've ever done, taking your ship. Oh, Bucky, say something. How about, welcome back? In another dimension, another time and space, a parallel universe is falling on its face. When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE, Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare Mutants and aliens and toads beware You're looking for adventure, well this is it With Jenny, Dead Eye, Blinky and Willie to win I said Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare I'm on the date on Bucky O'Hare on the Toad Wars In the battle of the universe, you don't know what's next You only know amphibians are made it complex When you check out your scanner and the evil that it bodes There's only one course of action Let's go for some toads Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare when no ordinary rabbit would dare If your righteous indignation has suffered a hit And your photon accelerator is broken a bit And you're losing your mind and you're having a fear Get the funky fresh rabbit who can take, take care, care of it It's Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare To say Bucky! I said Bucky! Bucky O'Hare! Let's croak us some toes! Fold it up, take it away. Vehicle collection sold separately. Creepy Clowers! There's wormy and wormy and purple and green. The grossest little creatures that you've ever seen. Creepy Clowers! Fill the monster mold with the colored plastic goop. And make a creepy crawler from a yucky monster soup. They're ucky, yucky, squirmy, wormy, very scary, sometimes hairy, squiggly, wiggly, creepy crawling. Creepy Clowers! Gross out your sister, embarrass your dad. You can be a little creep without being bad. Crawler's workshop with plastic goop. Prime reached out with his mighty. Come inside the pages of the Ultra Force comic book, where Prime and his Ultra heroes battle on against Enemy and his evil forces. It's Prime time, Enemy. Fire! Sorry, Prime. Evil rules. Get him! Yeah, Prime's getting pounded. Not for long. Cool and nightmare will nuke you. Whoa! Ultra cool. New Ultra Force action figures each sold separately. New from Galoo. Cops. 
central organization of police specialists fighting crime in a future time protecting empire city from big boss and his gang of crooks The Empire City Charity Ball was going to raise money for the homeless. But the big boss wanted the money for his favorite charity, himself. Here's how the cable came down. Your computer security checks out, Mrs. DeWealth. Crowd control and scanners are fine, too. Everything's ready for the charity ball tonight. Wonderful! There will be a lot of money donated at the ball tonight, and I want it to be safe. Would you two like to come as guests? I'd love to, but I have to work. Mace is off duty tonight, though. Uh, uh, no thanks. Uh, I'm not much for social stuff. Oh, please. You could bring a date. Uh, well, I'm not much for dating either, but uh, thanks anyway. Come on, mainframe, we gotta get back. He just hasn't met the right girl yet. Right behind you, Mace. I finished the decorations, Mrs. DeWelf. Oh, good. It was certainly nice of you to volunteer your time, Kathleen. Well, it's for a good cause. This ball will raise a lot of money for the homeless, and... <gasps> Dear. I thought I saw someone I knew. But it's impossible. I must have been mistaken. Well, goodbye, Mrs. DeWealth. I'll see you tonight at the charity ball. Ah, night shade, my dear. My aunt, my aunt, my aunt. Well, right on time. Uh, have some lunch. Thanks, but I prefer mine on a plate. Let's get to business, Big Boss. What do you want? <clears throat> I've got a job for you, Sam. There's a vault full of cash I need heisted. Sounds dull. Why don't you use Berserko? I'm busy. This job made somebody with style. Now, my nephew has his uses, but... Uh, uh, but he likes class. Yes, it runs in the family, I see. Now listen, there's gonna be a big charity ball in this building tonight. Televised. Donations are gonna be pouring in from all over Empire City. Now the money comes through the ducts. Ends up in this vault in the ballroom. Could be millions of bucks. The problem is, the room's gonna be full of high-class people. I need someone who can mix in with them unnoticed and then loot the safe. Well, that's where you come in. Now, you've got style. Yeah, you got class. You've got, um... A 50% cut. What? 50%? Huh. Forget it. You've got 10. Same as always, eh? Hey, if I have to do all the work, I want more money. Well, you won't get it. Then you don't get me. Goodbye, Big Boss. Oh, 
And by the way, Big Boss, enjoy your dessert. <laughs> you mean you've never had a date, Mace? Eh? Eh? Oh, I cut it out, mainframe. No, I mean it. You ever even kissed a girl? I bet you haven't. Nah, uh, mainframe, knock it off! Come on, macho guy. I'll kiss you right now. Won't hurt a bit. Stop it! Mainframe! I'm driving! <laughs> hmm. According to this file, Nightshade's real name is Raffaella Diamond, whose rich family disowned her when she turned to crime. However, Nightshade has a younger sister, Kathleen. Mm. Kathleen believes that Raffaella's in Europe. She doesn't know that her older sister is, in fact, the noted criminal cat burglar, Nightshade. Hmm. Perfect. Go capture Kathleen Diamond. With her in my power, Nightshade will obey my every command. Right, big boss. Oh, and McBoom Boom? Just to be nasty. Make it look like Nightshade did it. Okay, you can peek now. Do I look like Nightshade? <laughs> no, you look more like a nightmare! <laughs> well, who asked you anyway? <laughs> I'm off to capture that girl. Wait! How about a little kiss first, baby? I am not that kind of girl. It's so strange. I could have sworn I saw Raffaella today. But I couldn't have. She's in Europe. <gasps> Good afternoon, my dear Nightshade. Are you ready to do that little job for me? That depends. Are you ready to meet my price? On the contrary, my dear. You're going to meet mine. You're going to loot that vault for me for free. 50% or I don't do it. 0% or your dear sister Kathleen will be my permanent guest. Kathleen? But she's even now taking her someplace very safe. Very safe indeed. I don't believe you. Well, then go see for yourself. <laughs> Looks like your lucky day, boys. I suddenly have another appointment. came in bulletproof. Someone answering Nightshade's description just captured a girl named Kathleen Diamond from her penthouse. Hmm, not good. Go check it out, Mace. Right. Kiss? Knock it off. Kathleen? That fat, bloated bucket of lard. He's got my sister. This is the pistol that Buttons McBoom Boom always carries in his sock. Who must have captured Kathleen and dropped it by accident? Oh! Freeze, Nightshade! Drop the weapon and raise your hands. You're under arrest. 
Sure, Cobb. Sure, no problem. By the way, your shoe is untied. Don't give me that. I'm wearing boots. See? Saving one of the cops. I ought to have my head examined. Still, I may need him to help me get my sister back. Phew. Thanks. Don't mention it. Hey, you saved my life. No problem. But you're still under arrest. Hey! You're being arrested in connection with the abduction of one Kathleen Diamond from this address in violation of... Hey, Sergeant, listen! I beg your pardon? I didn't take the girl. Buttons McBoom Boom did. Uh, the description was a female cat burglar. He must have been in disguise. Why are you here? I'm trying to get her back. Big Boss captured Kathleen to force me to loot the charity ball for him. Huh? She's my sister, see? Look! Hmm. I'd better call this in. No time. I have to get going. Besides, your shoe's untied. No, it's not. Oh! Sorry, Nightshade. Not this time. You're coming with me. Wrong, mate. You're coming with me. Whoa! Yeah! I'm getting overtime for this! Oh dear! The ball has begun, but Kathleen isn't here! I wonder where she is! She'd be glad to see how successful the ball is! We have donations pouring in from the contribution ducts all over the city! Oh! That must have been a particularly large donation! Okay, this is Buttons with Boom Boom's hideout. He'll know where they've got my sister. Let's go get him. All right, please, you villainous scum! What's wrong, officer? Do I have some overdue library books or something? No, you have my sister, you rat. Look, Mace, there's the disguise he wore. Yeah. Green stripes and red polka dots. He should get five years for bad taste alone. Who made you a fashion expert, huh? Never mind. Just give me my sister, you creep, or I'll flatten your pointy head like... Shut up, both of you! Buttons, McBoom Boom. I arrest you in connection with the abduction of Kathleen Diamond. Now tell us where she is, or... Or what, cop? Or I let the little lady here convince you. Yeah. Um, all I know is the big boss said she'd be in a safe place. A real safe place. And that you'd get her back the instant you pulled the heist. But not before. Why, big boss? What a surprise! I understand that you almost never attend social events. Yeah, well, my uh, business keeps me pretty busy. Yeah. Uh, but this is an event I take a <clears throat> special interest in. Yeah. Now, let's sit where we can case the joint. And after the party, Nightshade can come in and crack the safe. Cops! I'll take this evidence with me and send some cops to pick up McBoom Boom as soon as I can report in. Hmm. I wonder what he meant by Kathleen being in a safe place. Sounds like she's in a bank vault or something. <gasps> Mace! That's it! You're wonderful. Hey! A safe 
place. I'll find her when I do the job, don't you see? They've got Kathleen inside the charity ball donation vault. So that's what they wanted me to crack open. Of course! Hey, let's go! They won't be expecting you right now. Oh no, I forgot! Yay! Can't we take the turbo bus? I feel like an idiot in this monkey suit. You look fine. Think how I feel. I have to wear this tacky gown McBoom Boom wore. I look terrible. You look darn good to me. Thanks, partner. Let's do it. What? It's nightshade and mace. Well, that female felon has sold out to the cops. She must have found out my plans to rob the charity vault. Berserko! Turbo! Get over here fast! There's gonna be trouble! How are you doing? Getting there. These handcuffs are a pain. I wish you'd take them off. Sorry, but you're still a wanted criminal. The money will come pouring out in front of all these people. Oh, why is she doing this? Why? Got it. Oh, oh hey, 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 what what is is it? Look out! Trouble! The vault's open! Grab the loot! Quick, get Kathleen to safety! How? Like this! Get going! I'm going out of here! Yeah! It's party! All right, you crooks! Thank you. Just one way, Kathleen. Anything. Don't grow up like me. You guys are under arrest. Well, Sergeant, I'm ready. Well, how about that? My shoe's untied. Huh? You're wearing boots. And we both know it. But thanks, partner. It's the hero. Oh, you heard about that already? Are you kidding? The ball was televised. We saw it all, right down to the lip lock. Oh. Mace has a girlfriend. Mace has a girlfriend. 
Shut up, mainframe. I do not. Yes, you do. <laughs> and Nightshade, too. Oh, she's cute. Go away! Sergeant May speaking. Hiya, partner. Just wanted to say thanks again. You're welcome. Uh, uh, where are you? Look out the window. The planned robbery of the Empire City Charity Ball was foiled. Buttons McBoom Boom, Berserko, and Turbo Two Tone were arrested. For her assistance to the cops in this case, Nightshade was uh, released from custody. File 55035, the case of Mesa's Romans. Case closed. Cops, roll call, highway, mainframe, long arm, Bowser and Blitz, sundown, hardtop, mirage, bullseye, mace, Barricade, and they call me Bulletproof. These are Empire City's most wanted crooks. Berserko, Rock Crusher, Misdemeanor, Turbo Two Tone, Dr. Bad Vibes, Nightshade. Use caution in apprehending. Cookie jar! <laughs> And dance, huh? Wanna pick up the temple? Yeah! Step into a slip jam! <laughs> Turn to the fight! <laughs> that beefy juicy date! Dad, Mr. Savage. How about the funky chicken? Oh, is that a wolf? Oh, yeah! <laughs> you know excitement? Step into a slip jam! The alien invasion has begun, and it's up to the five of us to stop them. Animorphs, the Transformers. The evil Visitor 3 is leader of the Yerks. He can morph from evil Anzalites to Inferno Creature. With grasping claws. And firing jaws. But we can change, too, into any animal we touch. And when Heroic Axe changes into a scorpion, Visitor 3 is gonna get stung. To save the human race, we pounce like animals. You can make the change. Animorphs. Animorphs. Each sold separately. Transformers! Welcome back to the International Turtle Games. Today's winners are, in the hammer throw, track and field, Leo. Wow. Next, it's Hot Dog and Mike tearing up the slopes. At the pool, Super Swim and Rock is making everybody else look all wet. And Power Lift and Dawn is making those weights fly. Look out! Oh, hope the Turtle Games were as much fun for you as they were for me. In the future, mighty dragons and warriors that fly join forces against evil. Their new dragonflies, posable action figures, who pack a secret power, the power to fly. Wow, dragonflies really fly. Dragonflies on dragon launchers, Zenith, Peak, fly them, crash them against the evil Dreadwing. Now I rule the skies. Dreadwing, you're a dead man. Dragonflies, flight is might. New dragonflies, flying action figures with dragon launchers, each sold separately, new from Galoo.
when you debug the synthetic neural link using the standard Fukudo protocol, filtration of extraneous sensory data is, as we say in cybernetics, a slam dunk. <sighs> Any questions? <laughs> um, thank you, Dr. Newmeyer, for that um, edifying guest lecture. Now, class, before you go... Oh, no, don't tell me it's over. I can't believe I missed that. What? That, what? That, that. It can't be. She's <laughs> Charlotte <laughs> Tannenbaum. Knew me? <sighs> Professor Sibella. Um, you remember Charlotta? Ah, yes, well, of course I did. Uh, oh. No, no, I don't. Yeah? Well, you made a big impression on me too, pal. <sighs> now buzz off, okay? What? What, what, are you, what are you doing here? I was in Detroit on business, heard you were speaking. I'm a real fan. <clears throat> Say, I'd love to hear more about what you're up to. Well, <clears throat> maybe I can show you my lab sometime. Cool. Roger that, Sergeant. We found that drug factory. Request backup. Oh, why don't we let the Sergeant finish his coffee? Haven't you preached her? Drugs are for losers. Uh. Heat beam. They impair your judgment. Glue gun. And slow down your reflexes. So remember, just say no. No. Good, you're learning already. No, he's not. <laughs> Don't move! I'm coming! Stay back! I'm having a pneumatic system failure. Something's going to... Whoa! <laughs> I'd get that checked if I were you. <sighs> Cable bar. Well? Huh? Oh, that is a problem. And? And, until I fix it, don't raise your hand above your head. I figured that out by myself. Earth to Newmeyer. What's this? <sighs> I saw Charlotta Tannenbaum today. Uh-huh. And that is? The love of Newmeyer's life. Undergraduate school, first through third semesters. You had a girlfriend? Um, not exactly. I worshipped her from afar. <laughs> afar? Newmeyer tells me that for him, the more distant the relationship, the better. Ah, there you are. Yeah, Charlotta. So, when do we begin? Begin what? <laughs> Wait, you, you did ask me to come on as your assistant, didn't you? I... I did? Perhaps we should leave. Not so fast, Titanium Tush. Here, make yourself useful. Oh, um... Honey, yeah, I could really use a double mocha java. I got your mocha java right here, you stubby Please little... Please her! She's new here. Now, I'll straighten it all out, honest. Oh, new me! New me? Oh, new me! She's up to something. I just know it. Based on what? Your intuition? 
Well, yeah. Back in school, she treats him like fungus. Now she shows up and she's wild about him? It could happen. You've been reading too many men's magazines. Uh, Robocop. Officers down at second and cast. Please respond. That's two blocks away. Hang on. I don't see any cops in trouble. Except us! Dark agents! It's an ambush! Minor, get in the car before... <laughs> Listen, partner, I got a way to get you off that booby trap, but... Whatever it is, just do it. <laughs> this has not been a good week. Supervisor, it's the police! Dark. Retreat! That's the most amazing biocellular chip fabrication I've ever seen. Well, I've had a lot of practice manipulating very small objects. Newmeyer! Wait! Dark tried to kidnap Robocop. Did they get him? No, he's with me. We're coming in. Oh. <sighs> fried parts of your neural network. Resetting it could be tricky. Honestly, Numi, why don't you just cross-patch the tactile capacitors? Uh, Shalada, that isn't what I would do. I... Fine. Then I'll do it. Newmire, do something! This has definitely not been a good week. Get away from him. Oh, like it was my fault. And, uh, what, what, what was that? That is why you shouldn't have done a cross patch. Robocop's neural capacitors run parallel, not sequential. Not the table dance! What was that thing you used on Robocop? Oh, um, that's his emergency power down unit. In case of an overload, I can completely immobilize him. Completely? Cool. Charlotta, if you don't know what you're doing, don't help! Back off, girl from Uncle! I did four years of postgraduate cyborg design work at MIT. Okay. Except for that fist firing problem, you're as good as new. Why don't I feel reassured? Well, if you'll excuse me, I have some errands to run. Mm -hmm. See you here at six. For our date. <sighs> I thought she'd never leave. Well, I was wondering when you were going to get tired of her. Tired? No. I couldn't wait for her to go so I could tell you guys I'm going to propose to her. Huh? Propose? He's gonna marry that lump? Yeesh. Minor, let's keep our focus on finding my would-be kidnappers. Wait a minute. I wonder if there's a connection. Quick, tap into the student roles at MIT. Humor me. Odd. She never attended MIT. Uh-huh. And remember what Newmeyer told us? She was awfully interested in your tracking system. Those dark agents couldn't have known we would be the only car near that crime. Uh, unless... Unless they had inside information. Still don't believe in intuition? We'll discuss it later. Numi, I'm freezing. Why can't we sit inside the restaurant? 
Well, I thought this would be more, um, private. And, uh, besides, I... Uh... Ow! My foot! Oh, oh, sorry! Wait! Don't be... here! Ow! What is that? A ring. I made it myself in the lab, out of spare parts. <laughs> A ring. Like an engagement ring. Charlotta, I've loved you from the moment I saw you in Anatomy 401 segmenting a spleen. Marry me? <laughs> you're kidding, right? You're... you're saying no? No. Oh, poor Dr. Neumeier. So clever in the laboratory, so foolish in affairs of the heart. Who asked you? Ah, Robocop. Your being here saves us the trouble of using Dr. Neumeier as bait. <laughs> Miss Tannenbaum? Charlotta, what are you doing with the power down unit? What does it look like? New me. Access memory file 53.3. You used on Robocop. Oh, um, that's his emergency power down unit. In case of an overload, I can completely immobilize him. Completely? Cool. Get away from him! This cyborg! Supervisor Ganoff! He is too heavy! Good planning, Mr. Spymaster. <laughs> I am also prepared to improvise. This is Ganoff! Pick us up! second I could have told you. By any chance, do our bosses at Division Alpha have any planes at their disposal? Yeah, they do. Reserve me an aisle. Hello? Anybody? Help! I guess the sedative wore off. Charlotta? What's going on? Simple, darling. Dark wanted to steal Robocop. And I decided to help them do it. Oh, oh, this dumb ring won't come off! But, Charlotta, why would you want to help Dark steal Robocop? Because I hate you, stupid! I've always hated you. In grad school, you always got the praise, all the grant money. Well, yeah, but... Oh, shut up! See, now with Dark's funding, I'll prove I'm a better scientist than you. You'd work for terrorists just to spite me? Gee, isn't that kind of immature? Is not. Is too. Is not. Is too. Is not, is not, is not! Is too. Ah, Dr. <gasps> Neumeyer. Welcome to the Republic of Lugubria, one of Dark's many host countries. I am Supervisor Gnoff, your captor. What's this all about? Well, things have changed. My original plan was to steal Robocop, make copies of him, and create a deadly army of assassins. But abducting you works also. 
You gonna make copies of me? No, no. idiot. Now, we will force you to build the copies of Robocop for us. Oh, well, that makes more sense. Okay, I got you, your geek. Now give me my money. No. You have served your purpose. You are no longer useful to Dark. But... but... you, you said you, you wanted me for my mind. It couldn't have been for your personality. How did you find us? Tracking systems cut both ways. The ring Newmeyer made for Charlotta contains one of my spare global positioning modules. Wait a minute. You made a ring out of a tracking device? I, I thought it looked nice. <sighs> Stupid cow. You have ruined us. Oh, yeah, right. Blame me. Supervisor Knopf! Division Alpha gunships! Meta Harpy, show's over. <sighs> not yet, it's not. Hey! Ow! What the crowds? Cold! Snow in the pants, cold! Cold! Don't you ever shut up! Robo Slam. an extremely bad week. Searchlights! <sighs> what is the problem, Robocop? Are you afraid of the dark? Save the lame humor, creep. All right. I will execute Dr. Neumeyer if you do not surrender. Is that clear enough for you? Now, raise your hands. Um, listen, you, you, you really don't want him to do that, because if he does, it's a big thing. It's all right, Neumeyer. Whatever the man says. Cable arm. <laughs> Told ya. Thanks, fellas. Nice work. How are you doing, Newmeyer? Fine. If you happen to like b blue as a skin color. What's wrong with blue? Oh. Sorry. Charlotta! Wait! Well, kid, you're going up the river. Sure, I knew you were playing me for a sucker. But I got in the last licks. You know, if you're good, you'll be out in 20 years. And if you're bad, well, you'll get your own talk show. Either way, I'll be waiting. Then again, if they get rid of you, at least we'll always have Dearborn. Nomi, you are amazing. Me 
amazing. Amazing is good. It's a compliment. I, I, I think she's warming up to me. What? That's what he looks. that lash, missiles that crash, and if you dare, inside the warriors, the battle rages yeah. on. Mighty Max Hand and Battle Max figures sold separately. Figures do not move by themselves. Cool things happen in the morning with the warm, appealing taste of Kellogg's Pop Tarts. What's so hot? So hot. Hey, what's up? Part of this complete breakfast. As if drinking Pepsi wasn't rewarding enough, now they have a gotta have it card. Welcome to Blockbuster City. It gets you lots of great deals, like at Blockbuster Video. Rent three, get one free. A musical? A mystery? A cartoon, Cindy? May I suggest a video, Cindy? Can you believe all the attention you get with this card? Excuse me? Do you have Cape Fear? Uh, here, uh, take ours. Thanks. Is this a great card or what? We gotta get one of those cards. The Pepsi Gotta Have It card. Look for it wherever you buy Pepsi. your lessons. Where is your mind today? Oh, Miss Thorpe, I don't want to have my birthday on a warship. If that is the only way your father could be with you today, then it's your duty to make this visit a happy one. On my mark, dividing the river. Jack, execute maneuver. Aw, Tiger by the Tail's more fun. Dividing the river. On my mark. One, two, three!
new jumper's gonna work out just fine. seen so many hammer-ons. We must be really popular. Hit a beehive with a stick. Don't expect to take a nap. Yeah, that's what I meant. This is foolish to be so deep into enemies' hunting grounds. We are in close proximity to the data bank. I can only repeat that if we're lucky, it will give us a way to open the vault in the new valley. And whatever's inside may help us win the war against Macestro. Pretty big if. It should be just over that ridge. Mansion. By the oath. What is he doing here? Now that's what I call a set of wheels. King Renard may have a grand vehicle. It does not make him a grand ruler. According to my calculations, the data bank is inside the command ship. Why is he bringing it here? Now, once again, what is the difference between a dictator and a monarch, a good monarch? A good monarch. He... Or she. She should put the welfare of her people above all. <gasps> it's him. Who? The boy from the dam, Jack. Who is this person? I believe I would enjoy a quiet walk on deck before the celebration. It's your birthday. Why not? Oh, thank you. these glamour jobs. Gah! Ugh, this data bank better be worth it. Knowledge is a powerful weapon, Jack. Yeah, right. Turn here. My sensors indicate it is about eight levels down and 26 sectors to the east. be going. Jakarta. You assured me it was secure. A, a thousand apologies, my lord Macestro. Apology not accepted. Cyber 9. Jack, Macestro knows we're here. 
Be ready to leave as soon as I'm finished. The cyber is within our reach. Tunnel rats move to intercept. I will not tolerate failure. My lords and ladies, allow me to present my crowning achievement and the means by which I shall obliterate the upstart Titania. The Rail Cannon, the ultimate weapon of our times and of all time. <laughs> Capable of delivering a direct hit leagues away, each warhead carries enough strontite explosive to vaporize one square mile of Titania's territory. In the hold of this ship, I carry the final component, the data bank, to calculate targeting for the rail cannon. And it's goodbye, Titania. Game over. I win. Renard, the cyber is on your own ship, you fool. Directly beneath your feet. I will see to it immediately, my lord. Renard is becoming a detriment. I supply him with the technology for his rail cannon, and he loses sight of the true goal. The capture of Zyber 9. Indeed, my lord. He's like a child with a new toy. Hmm. Perhaps it is time to consider the alternative. Uh, but, my lord... Sometimes the solution is more dangerous than the problem. A at least Renard can be controlled. Do not presume to discuss strategy with me, insect! I control everything. Each squad, take a different corridor. I'll have your heads if they escape! We knew every nook and cranny in this ship. Uh, Princess Rosalind, what are you doing here? Exactly what we were planning to ask you. You're trespassing on our father's command ship. Your father's a liar! <sighs> How dare you! What are you talking about? Who is this person? <sighs> Princess Rosalind, Anaconda. Mm. You do not live in a the world and you're not right in your head if you live in a grand castle you do not breathe with the trees you cannot smell the earth believe me i'm smelling a whole lot of it right now don't you ever bathe you smell like a fruit that is too ripe why do you wear stinky water it's called perfume jungle girl who raised you pigs no snakes Anna, please! There's no time for this! Princess, as soon as you left the New Valley, your father attacked! Lies! If it weren't for Queen Titania, we'd be roadkill. Soldiers are coming. You did this! No, I promise. I came alone. We must leave, now! Two minutes more. Stall them! What's it doing? He's updating himself in the last five trillion years. Is that a crime, Princess? Not unless you plan to use it against us. I... can't promise that. Go. I'll hide it for you. But if you're lying about my father, you shall never see it again. Fair enough. Are you sure, Jack? We're trapped and she's our only hope. Now let's go! One move, you're dead where you stand. Thank goodness you're here. These trespassers were threatening me. Princess Rosalind, 
You should have an escort. You could get lost down here. Take them away. Hurry it up. You've got a date in the brig with King Renard. All done. Thank you. Wait. One last thing. Goodbye, friend. Job well done. isn't with them? Search the storage area! Tear it apart! I'm sorry, child. Makestro's corruption is dark upon your father. Makestro? What has my father to do with this story to scare children? Ridiculous. Was there a time you noticed a change in your father, as if from day to night? That was the day your father was infected. We're going to the brig. Once and for all, I'm finding out the truth. Save your energy, Jack, for Makestro's tunnel rats. They'll be here soon enough. Jack! Princess! Look out! They're coming! The king approaches, girl! Do not dare raise your eyes! Your freedom is in your own hands. Just tell me where the Zyber is. <laughs> you tell me. You want to play games? My man Mordo likes games. <laughs> Last chance. Where is Zyber 9? Even if I did know, I sure wouldn't tell you, you big fat... You were lucky last time. Next time, I will reduce your precious valley to dust! If one won't talk, make them watch what you do to the others. Is this how a king treats his subjects? What? You have no right to treat people like this! Get this peasant filth out of my sight! The stench is more than I can bear! I will deal with you in a moment, girl. Yeah. I am not a cudgel. You talk too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. He didn't know me. Not even the sound of my voice. He doesn't know any of his subjects, my child. They are not people to him. <laughs> you told the truth. Here. Thank you. I misjudged you. We all did, Princess. Rosalind will do. We must recover our vehicles. They're by Ramp 33. When you escape, go north two kilometers. There you'll find my father's latest construction site. It's worth seeing. Will I see you again? We haven't decided yet. You could have gotten us into a world of trouble. Yeah. You're getting a real taste for it, aren't you? A light! Must be the way out! Sorry, Jack. Just the opposite. Come on, rats.
tunnel rats out of action, my lord. Send more! As many as it takes, it will not escape me. Castro will send his whole army until he wins. We need something big. Can we flush out the ship? Closest control panel is in sector 6X. How did you know this? The data bank. As I said, Jack, knowledge is power. not ready for the festivities about the difference between a monarch and a dictator i think i'm beginning to understand come you don't want to be late for your own celebration happy birthday princess thank you miss thorpe perhaps it is time to grow up so jack you still want a command ship like King Renard's? Nah. Forget about the command ship part. The princess part's okay. <sighs> this is what Rosalind wanted us to see. A rail gun. This is why they had the data bank. It held the knowledge of the centuries. And they were only going to use it to calculate targeting. When it's finished, I'm afraid the war will be over very quickly. Not necessarily. With the information from the databank, we are one step closer to opening the vault. is here. New Maximals, heroic animals, battle the evil reptile and insect forces of the Predacons. They fight tooth and claw. Heroic Dinobot attacks. Morphs from Raptor Beast. Into vicious robot with spinning Velocirotor blades. Evil Waspinator full of venom changes like never before. From insect to high tech and puts the sting on Cheetor. But there's more to Cheetor than meets the eye. Under the skin lurks a robot within. With hidden weapons firing. But treacherous tarantula mutates and counterattacks. Charging, 
Slashing, blasting, all new Beast Wars. The next step in Transformer evolution is here. And when you buy the Maximal Predacon 2-pack, you get a free Beast Wars comic book. Beast Wars! Each sold separately. Defeat the dark side, get a game medallion, and you could win one of million surprises instantly. Even a Star Wars speeder. Only a Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, and KFC. Chris Jericho, I'm here to rescue you. Junior, I'm not the one who needs rescuing. I am never... Leaving this island paradise. Rescue your hunter with Chef Boyardee overstuffed beef ravioli. me when I'm experimenting? Yeah, but I'll be late for school. Fine. <gasps> You're letting me drive? <laughs> yeah, you wish. Go warm it up. Good enough for me. <sighs> Just like her mother. In this house, besides, you're only 13. 13 in 10 months. Uh -huh. That's almost 14. If you're almost 14, then that means you're almost old enough to drive. Dad, you know, if you let me drive myself to school, then you could get back to your research and your, you know, whatever it is you're doing these days. Well, this month I'm working on a new hybrid rice grain. It grows in sand with no water. It'll feed millions. <sighs> Thrilling, but back to the important matter at hand. I am perfectly capable of driving. I watch you drive every day, and there's absolutely nothing about driving that I can't handle. <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Hey, that's Uncle Watton's ship. He's skyjacking that cargo ship. Dad, wait, what are you doing? Why don't we just call the police? They'd never get here in time. Besides, this family takes out its own trash. Leave it on autopilot. I'll be right back. Come on, heroes. Who else wants a taste of the gut crusher? I guess you didn't learn nothing when we threw your pal over there, huh? Watch out, it's Doc Payne! Move that crate! It's up! Get him! Get back to 
I've got a family reunion to go to. Doors broken. You're so mean. I love you. I love you too, honey. Here's your lunch. See you at 3 30. Tony? Hey, Amanda. You'll hey. never believe what happened to me on the way to school this morning. Your dad saved the world again? Well, yeah, that too. But more importantly, I got to drive to school. It was so cool. Oh, and then there were these guys who tried to carjack me, but I totally mocked one with a face. <laughs>
Pokey B, to voice a plea. Respect the forest, protect our trees. Oh, what are you doing? You smoke, baby. What's the trouble? Round. This isn't me. You smoke. You're 50. We agreed you'd talk to kids in their language. I know, but I'll just give it to them straight. <clears throat> kids, only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey, the hmm. Smoke. I gotta get back to the forest. Godzilla versus his enemies of destruction, the king of all monsters against the baddest beasts of all time, Rodan, Mothra, Ghidra, Mecha Ghidra, and Mecha Godzilla. It's an eye-flashing, tail-whipping, building-bashing Godzilla war, and only the strong survive. Godzilla rules. I just love the Old West when things are wild and woolly and turtles are really turtles. Crazy Cowboy Don is as rough and tough as they come. Sewer Scout Raph is scouting things out. Bandito Bustin' Mike always bashes the bad guys. And Chief Leo, leader of the Turtle Tribe, is a real man's turtle. Yeah, I just love the Wild West. Of course, I don't like it too wild. Oh, it takes a good rider to handle them rocking horses. Crash Dummies! Did you see that car? How could I miss it? Stop the testing! Introducing Junk Man, a Crash Dummy gone bad. With his junk bot gang, he's out to stop crash testing. And it makes the world an unsafe place! You gotta catch us first! There's a crash! Grab him! Uh-oh! Timber! No junk bots, incredible crash dummies, and cars sold separately. Don't you be a dummy! Buckle your safety belt! of them. We make a great team. Do we? Jade, take my hand. It's too late, boss. Too late. Jade, don't shut me out. Jade! Jade! Crazy. I gotta talk to her. Jade, it's Greyfart. Jade? Situation? I had a. I wanted to talk, but. Uh, never mind. I'm sorry I woke you. You ask me, talking is way overrated. What's with all the commotion? How's an emperor supposed to sleep through all this racket? Oh, 
Hey, hey, don't mind me. You kids go ahead. No, please. Let me do the honors. Yeah. Fine. Keep your little party to yourself. Well, I, uh, I guess I should, I should go. Next time, knock quietly. My hearing works just fine. King Cryos, unidentified object on screen, but it does not read on our scanners. Notify the Alliance to be cautious until we discover what it is. Our alliance has slowed down, Jade. What is happening? I am about to find out, Lord Mantle. Report to me immediately when you do. This was not part of our bargain. You forget yourself, Commander. I am your king. Nothing is over until I say it is. It literally appeared out of nowhere. All we have is visual confirmation of its existence. That indicates both teleportation and stealth capabilities. This could be a critical find for the Alliance. Since it defies our scanners, it could also defy the Beast Planet sensors. We need to investigate this at closer range. We can cover more ground in two ships. Cryos, you're with me. Jade with Pyrus. Tekla, you're in charge until I get back. Hey, hey, hey! Not so fast, Rocco. What's wrong with taking me along for the ride? Next trip, Femur. Forget it! Nobody makes a fine like this and keeps me out of the game. Fine! If this is so all fired important to you, Femur, you can go in my place. Hmm. What? Do you want to argue with him all day? <sighs> so? What are you yahoos waiting for? <laughs> Put your eyes elsewhere, Toad, or I will. Ah, loosen up, doll. <sighs> okay, okay, we're looking at the monitor now. Oh, you see the Emperor looking at the monitor. <laughs> Force field oxygen and gravity generators. Complex is self-contained as though. No, it cannot be. What? You know this place? Perhaps. Though I pray I am wrong. Ah! Ah! Oh, this was a bad idea. A very bad idea. Turn around. Let's get out of here. Don't be absurd. Uh, no, really, turn around. You don't want to go there. For once, Jay, just trust me on this and get us out of here! Greatheart, there is some sort of conflict going on below. I see it. Beast drones? No, no. Going in for a closer look. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, very bad idea.
Princess Tekla. We've lost contact with both scout ships. Both comms have failed at once? No. Telemetry is gone, which means both ships have crashed. Uh, no! What is the problem here? Come on. We gotta find Jade and Femur. We have picked a most unfortunate place to be marooned, my friend. Tell me about it. If I did, I doubt you would believe me. Freeze! That is far enough. Who is in charge here? King Cryos, is it? You have some nerve showing your ugly face here. You know... I have no idea who you are, and already I don't like you. My, you are a big one, aren't you? Please, don't force me to do something we'll both regret. The feeling is mutual. Look behind you. <laughs> okay, let's start fresh. My name is Julia. You are... Name's Graveheart. And this is King Cryos. Any particular reason you attacked us? We thought you were Sternum's men. I can see now that you're not. And Sternum is... Only the worst criminal this universe has ever known. Then I was right. <laughs> this is the prison planet. May the glacier preserve us. Oh, I told you, didn't I tell you? We could have been home free, but no. You had to get closer, didn't you? Hey, where you going? To find Graveheart and Cryos. Oh, why can't we wait for him here? Offhand, I can think of several reasons. Oh boy. You are both our prisoners. You will come with us. Hey! Mm. Don't I know you? Uh, me? Nope, nope, I'm nobody. Nobody at all. Just a poor innocent bystander dragged into this mess by this female lunatic. <laughs> this will be fun. Move it! I'm moving, I'm moving. Watch where you're sticking that thing. Ow! We have lost contact with both scout ships. Pyrus will mount a rescue. Effect them immediately. I will take charge of this situation. I think not. Graveheart left me in charge. You need an experienced warrior in command here. I have all the experience we need. Not for this. Thanks. Would you excuse us a minute? Be my guest. It's time you filled me in. My forefathers and the other rulers established the prison planet to contain the worst criminals of our societies. But... not everyone here is a criminal. How'd you end up here? Same way you did. My ship crashed. Since then, I've done what I can to bring order out of chaos. A rather military form of order, however. <laughs> Whatever works. But I can always use more help. Are you the helpful type? We can discuss that after we contact our Alliance and locate Jade and Femur. Sorry. Comms work only intermittently. And as for your friends, well, I'm afraid it's a waste of time. We're still going after them. If you must. But I'll come with you. Look, you'll need a guide. So it might as well be me.
Okay, I I'm impressed, but I still think you're nuts, old tuts. These are soldiers. Their chief will respect a show of strength. And if he doesn't? You have a better idea. I have your men! Let us in if you want them back in one piece! Have those men punished for incompetence. As for the strangers... Put that toad in the hole. Then send a team to scavenge their ship. The woman, bring her to me. I will have answers if I have to crush every stone in her body to get them. I told you, I am in charge and I will stay in charge. You are not from this system, alien. You do not know what you are up against. And you are too young to know. To know what? If you have information about this object, tell us. My knowledge comes with a price. When you turn to me for leadership as you should, then I will share what I know. Ignore him, Tekla. You keep the home fires burning. I'll go find our friends. Excuse me, Rock Lord, but I have an alliance to run. No sign of any bodies. Then they're still alive. They have to be. Please. Don't get your hopes up. From what I can see, your friends are lost. What makes you so sure? That armor means your friends have been discovered by Sternum's men. If they were alive before, they certainly aren't now. No, you're wrong. You don't know Jade. I'm sorry, my friend, but you don't know Sternum. I have questions, woman. Jade, Commander, Cobalt class. And I am Sternum. Now that we have been introduced, you will answer me. And if I refuse? Need I remind you, you are a prisoner of war. You live or die at my whim. <laughs> now, shall we begin? I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm doomed. 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 What if he's still alive and kicking? Worse, what if he finds out I'm here? Julia, I know you mean well, but I have to find my friends, no matter what. Look, you don't understand. We've been fighting Sternum for years, ever since he seized control of our tech center and made beggars of us. Have you tried negotiation? Repeatedly. Now our only option is to seize his half of the complex. Only then can we help you find whatever remains of your friends. Sternum's men have found us! That's the way you want to play it. I can make out buildings and flashes of light. It looks like a battle. Wait, wait, it's stopping. Fall back! Fall back to base! See? You can't reason with Sternum. The only thing he understands is force. So it appears. Then I guess the next move is ours. Where did you come from? What is this fortress? What are you doing here? Yeah! <laughs> 
Who runs this place? Can't you guess? You are a superb warrior. You're not so bad yourself. Draw! Draw! Very well then. This is all that remains of what once was called the prison planet. I command this side. The woman Julia controls the other. But I am going to put a stop to that. And to her. Your turn. Two good friends of mine crash landed near this Julia's side. I have to find them. They are dead. Forget them. Unacceptable. Listen to me. If your friends have fallen into Julia's hands, they are beyond your help. Then I will bring home their remains. I will decide how and when that happens. This discussion is not yet finished. But first, I have something to attend to. Pyrus to Tecla! I don't know what's going on down there, but I'm going in for a closer look. Wait, something's happening! It just disappeared. Fixer-upper. And I bet. Add just the Beetle Borgs. You'll hang a curtain. You'll never know they're there. Cool. Gia, we're afraid of... Of course you're afraid. So I'll throw in the Sonic Laser with a Pulse Saber to fight the forces of evil. Evil? And because it's you, a Beetle Commander. We'll take it. Huh? I love that kid. Bandai. Action. Satisfaction. Lifting and shifting the donuts we bake. This crazy contraption is starting to shake. What? Hurry up! We've got to go faster. It looks like we're having a donut disaster. It's donut disaster. The wacky game where you roll the dice and get rid of all your donuts to win. But watch out. If it explodes, whoa, you'll have to start again. And you never know. Will it blow? We can't go any faster. Donut disaster. Watch while I tell you of an ancient war. On the side of evil, Hellespont, ruler of the Daemonites. Against them, the Wildcats, the Carobin Spark, and their cybernetic leader, massive crossbreed maul. Metamorphing Warblade. 
Master Marksman Grifter. Fierce Warrior Zealot. Will they succeed and defeat Hellspot? We're out of here. And only Wildcats. Wildcats from Playmates. To many, it is modern day folklore. To others, it is simply tabloid headlines. But to a select few, it is the ultimate reality. Intergalactic aliens have arrived on Earth. Now, they move among us. Only one top secret elite group of trained professionals has the ability to detect these extraterrestrial beings. B.A.D. The Bureau of Alien Detectors. Led by Squadron Leader Sergeant Ben Packer, military war hero, Special Agent Shane Sanderson, life science expert, Moose Tringanu, alien encounter survivor, Colin Marcus, computer specialist, and Casey Taylor, psychic communicator. Together, they have only one mission, to confront, control, and contain all alien encounters. Together, they are B.A.D., the Bureau of Alien Detectors. The moon illuminates the dark, starry sky, serving as a beacon to our heroes who lie in rest. They rose to the call, no matter what the threat. The call to save our union, to make the world safe for democracy, to stop the tyranny of a madman. And now, they sleep eternally. Like stars that twinkle in the sky, they are our constellations of freedom. But as they rest, an even bigger threat than they ever thought is about to arrive. A foreboding enemy to all that cherish life and liberty. An enemy from above who shall break their rest and use our fallen heroes as their pawns of destruction. An enemy from Mars. The Earth going to be destroyed? Come to me, Casey. We need you. The Earth needs you. Security alarm override. Authorization Special Agent Casey Taylor. Follow your inner senses. They will lead you to me. Do not delay. You are the one we have chosen. You are the one. This is somebody's idea of a really sick joke, right? I mean, who would do that to a cemetery? Don't tell me, sir. That's our job to determine, right? That's right. The witness claims he saw a bright orange light. Colin, what are the odds it's alien? Hmm, with that anti-gravity action at the end? No known Earth technology can do that yet.
We recorded 19 other incidents similar to this last night, all around the world. Thousands of grave sites were disturbed. Hey, wait a minute. These are all veteran cemeteries. Special Agent Tranganu is correct. All the disturbances occurred at military memorials. What deep space satellite footage did we get on them? We received none. How did we miss this? The deep space system appears to have failed. Failed? I worked one of those systems. The system doesn't just fail. This was no accident. In the last 12 hours, all U.S. satellite communications have experienced some type of disruption. Sounds like some hostile alien unknown. Anything else, Major V? Team 31J is investigating the satellite loss over the eastern seaboard. Team 48E is studying the west coast failure. Team 22Z, you are to proceed to the Elko Veteran Cemetery. Find out why those graves were disturbed, and by whom. Affirmative, sir. Sanderson, everyone gets full-spectrum contamination kits. Moose, pack the Shadowhawk with all unknown encounter gear. Colin, get Casey out of the research lab and meet us in the hangar. Hold, Sergeant Pecker. Sir? Be aware that Internal Affairs is handling the matter of Special Agent Taylor. What about Casey? You are to continue on your present assignment without delay. With all due respect, sir, what do you mean? At approximately 02.30 this morning, Special Agent Taylor disappeared from the base without authorization. She is considered absent without leave. Casey? AWOL? Carry on with your orders. That is all. Come to me, Casey. You are our chosen one. Come. All my life, my psychic powers have made me unusual, different. They have aided me well in my service at BAD. But never have I been so connected, so driven, to follow a voice, an unknown presence. To where, I don't know. What does it mean? A dead rising, to where? To what? Are you? I am Peter of the Ceruleans. You know who I am. Wait, wait. The Ceruleans? I'm supposed to know about you? You do, child. And you know why I am here. I do not. I don't know anything about you. What kind of trick is this? My people are at war with the Martians, who are out to conquer the universe. They have concentrated their technology and all of their planet's resources to that one objective. To ruin or ruin all others. This is like a nightmare. How long has this been going on? It is an ancient conflict. Are they on their way to Earth? No, they are already here. Cloaked from radar detection, they have targeted your strongest military bases. We have to alert BAD. That will do no good. They have already destroyed your country's meager communication systems. Yes. Somehow I see what you say is true. Satellites. Why'd you contact me? <laughs> I can't stop the Martians. Yes, you can. You are the only one who can stop them. Uh, gives me the creep thing about all those dead soldiers being taken. Sarge, I came up with something. What is it? It's about Casey. Major V told us Casey went AWOL, but look at this. Now we're supposed to be getting ready for big trouble, so I ran a check on all available equipment. That Shadowhawk too. With the same global tracking beacons as this one. So look who checked it out about 2.30 yesterday morning. Casey. And someone would have had to give her ground clearance to take it out of the hangar. Exactly. Major V. Major V helped her leave. And probably knows where she is right now. He just doesn't want us to know where she is. I understand about the Martian invasion. 
But I had a dream of dead soldiers rising from their graves. Is there a connection? Indeed there is. The Martians are few in number in comparison to their appetite for war and conquest. Wait a minute. Who are these Martians? How will they attack? The Martians reanimate their armies from a planet's military dead. Zombie armies? Of nearly unlimited numbers, defeating them is almost impossible. So how do we stop them? We do not stop them, my child. You do. How? You were chosen because of your psychic powers. You are the one who can find the Martians. So I find them. How do I stop them? Take this with you. With it, your powers will be greatly enhanced. It will allow me to accompany you undetected, though I will be limited in giving assistance. Do not fail. Your world and mine are both at stake. I will do this. I have to. I don't know, Sarge. My experience with aliens has always led me to believe they wanted their victims alive, not dead. Whoa, will you look at this mess? Sarge, according to data received from other locations, the missing bodies were airlifted by some kind of tractor beam. Sarge, I think I've got something. What have you got for me? Radiation readings identical to all the other cemeteries that were hit. So at least we're dealing with a single alien target. Looks that way. Something's knocked out our satellites and ripped through our cemeteries. But why? You thinking what I'm thinking, Sarge? Full-on global invasion? Looks like the only question is when. Team 22Z, respond. Sergeant Packer here, Major V. Priority recall code. Return to base immediately. It's Special Agent Taylor. She's back. Affirmative, sir. Casey's back. I wonder where she's been. <sighs> Casey? Aren't you going to say anything? Uh, Casey, you're green. Believe me, it surprised me, too. Are you okay? Uh, physically, I mean? I'm fine. Different, but fine. The med team says I'm all right, near as they can tell. What happened? It's funny. It's like all my senses are amped. Major V said you went AWOL. He had to. If the Martians learned about my mission... The Martians? The Earth is in grave danger. Let me show you what I've learned. Awesome. This is Pater, the leader of the Ceruleans. He's the one who contacted me. Children, there is a war on between my people and the Martians. We have tried to contain the fight to our own galaxy, but we have failed. You cannot. The Martians have established a base on your planet. We have to find it and stop them. Your military forces can't. Casey can, but she must choose another. She will need assistance. The war has begun. It ends now, or your planet does. Wow. There's got to be some way to fight these Martians. The Martians don't fight their own wars. They use zombies. They reanimate the dead, outfitting them with modern weapons of war. The attacks on the cemeteries. Whoa. You mean we could be going up against an army of zombies? Check, please. Priority one alert. Everybody gear up. Central military communications is under assault. From deep space? No. A ground assault. The Martian zombie army. How do we fight these zombies? I'm not sure you can, Sarge. Pater said the Martians control things from their base. If the Martians take over the central military communications, they can take over the whole planet. Sarge, you've got to protect the CMC. It's my job to find the Martian Earth base. I'll take Moose with me. He's the one I need. Okay, Case. Just tell me what to do. I'm not exactly sure myself. The rest of us handle CMC. 
Let's go. Team 31J was ambushed by members of the Martian Zombie Forces. We're executing an emergency security recheck of all BAD personnel. Sir, we're catching a distress signal from the CMC base. We are under attack. Repeat, CMC is under attack by... I don't believe it. Civil War soldiers and a platoon from World War II? Help us! They're in big trouble. The zombies outnumber the troops stationed there. Without CMC for defense or our satellite relays, we can just kiss this planet goodbye. We cannot release any additional troops until all security levels have been verified. In other words, sir, we're on our own. Moose, we've got to shut down the aliens' means of controlling the zombies. So how are we going to find this Martian Earth base? I can see it, like in a dream. You figure if we take out the Earth base, we got a shot at stopping the Martians' invasion? It's the only hope we've got. Okay, so it's the two of us against how many Martians? They've reanimated thousands of military bodies for their army of zombies. My kind of odds. What's happening down there? The zombies are advancing and taking over. Prepare to intercept targets. Sarge, there's an outside transmission coming in from the Martians. I think I can pick it up. Under attack! Is anybody hearing this? CMC is under attack by armed forces! Resistance is futile! We have armed millions of our dead warriors. Surrender, or you will join them. We cannot be stopped. We will not be denied. Your planet will be ours. We seek only the expansion of our universal empire. Submit willingly. Though we are cruel, you will learn to love it. Zombies are in the tunnel. They could be at the CMC main control in three minutes. So we've got two minutes to stop them. Colin, what kind of firepower do the targets have? Looks like lasers, and lots of them. Zombie missiles have locked onto us, Sarge. 20 seconds to intercept. That's not good. Colin, Sanderson, load up the Ultra Bombers. Prepare for mid-air deployment. Here we go.
Sanderson, Colin, do you read me? Loud and clear, Sarge. Nice move, Sarge. I'm getting something from the tunnel. Central Military Communications is under attack. Is anybody out there? We need help. Copy that, CMC. This is Sergeant Ben Packer. Give us your status. Unidentified enemies are moving in through the main corridor. Colin, Sanderson, we're gonna lose this one if we don't get inside. Let's go. Stand by, CMC. We're coming in. We can't stop the blast door, Sergeant. You have to hurry. character expects you to do? Find the Pluton's Earth base. Can you? My powers of perception are stronger than ever. We'll find that base. Yeah? So what do we do when we get there? I guess you and I are supposed to stop them. The whole Pluton zombie army? Okay. Something's here. Now what? I'm getting an energy reading. Type unknown. About 40 meters east. Follow the yellow brick road. Ruth, look! There's the mother of all flying saucers. A couple more blasts like that, Captain, and the doors are gone. Once these doors go, the whole complex goes. Suggestion, Sergeant? You seem to have a handle on what we're dealing with here. We need your people in defensive positions around the entrance. When those doors go, this place will be swarming. Attack craft. A whole fleet of them. We've got their location. Now let's get out of here and call in a strike force. Sleep somewhere, human. Surrender. Call in that strike force. Now move it! Metal fatigue, Sarge. One more blast and the doors are going.
dead. You've given us the opportunity to convert the living. Yes, you will both make fine warriors. I show from examination you've both been genetically enhanced. It matters not. Once we inject our probe into your cerebral cortex, we'll be able to program you just like one of our dead soldiers. Attaching our neuron computer to the top of your spine will remove any resistance and enable us to track your every move. Hater, this wasn't part of the bargain. If you're still with me, we need a big favor right about now. Bruce, it's up to you. Starting first phase of zombie conversion. Elemental Mark, still! We don't have much time. Let's see how you are in a little hand-to-hand, -hand, huh? Ashes to ashes, and you know the rest. Bureau of Alien Detectors, Bravo Squadron, Team 17X. My old team. No, not like this. That guy was from my first squad. Understand, Casey? The team I thought I'd lost. They're somewhere on this ship. That's not gonna hold them long. Come on, move! If your first squad is here, then you can't help them. You have to stop them. You're right. But how? Climb in. Moose, do you hear that? Yeah, it's coming from you. No, it's this thing. That's how the futons control the zombies. If we can find the transmitter... We can knock out the signal and stop the zombies. Over there. Uh-oh. Case, what's wrong? We've got a big job cut out for us. The zombies are multiplying. Zombies. Understood, Sergeant. This is it. The transmission source has to be here. How are we supposed to drop those guards? We didn't do so well last time. It's not like we have a whole lot of choice here, Moose. We have to stop that control signal. Think of it. The helmets! Go for the helmets! Sarge, I've 
done the math here. We're gonna run out of ammo a lot faster than we run out of zombies. Maybe so. But now we know how to fight back. This way, Moose. Maybe we can use the element of surprise. So much for surprise. We can stop the transmitter if we could stop those guards. And we can't do that till we stop the transmitter. Wait, that's it. What if we came up with our own signal? At least our own interference. Like a jamming signal to stop the guards. Just the ones on the ship. Just long enough for us to get at that transmitter. We're stuck inside a vent. What are we going to use? The ship. No! Out of ammo! Thanks, Sergeant. Using the alien circuitry allows us to tap right into their zombie transmission. Yeah, but we can only affect the zombies on this ship. All set, Case. Let's go see if we're successful. Check it out, Moose. Martians revive the zombies. I'm gonna try out some of my new powers. No! It's Peter. Casey, we need you. You must help us find you. But I'm right here. The Plutons have hidden their ship from our sensors. You are the only one who can lead us to them. Okay, I'll try. I can't stop the transmitter. Yes, you can. You must. Use your many strengths. This is all I have. You are wrong. That's why Pater chose me. To help them find the Martians. I can do this. Pater. We are here. Casey. My, my powers are growing! My body is changing! For Earth and freedom! No! Don't take me! Not without Moose! Moose! No! Moose found a way to stop the Martian control of the zombies. And none too soon, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. We could never have come this far without you. Them on the run. Casey, your planet owes you a huge debt of gratitude. 
I owe somebody else. Moose. You rang? Moose, you're alive! Uh, I couldn't let you hog all the credit for yourself. But, but how did you escape? I have no idea. Ask Giggles over there. You both understand only a fraction of your own powers. I'm willing to learn. Me too. You defeated the Plutons here. You have my thanks, Casey Taylor and Moose Trangano. I leave you all with this. That's like the one I got from Crystal. What do we do with it? You will all learn that together. The battle has ended here, but the war goes on in other galaxies, other worlds. I hope you find peace. I, too. And you, my friend. Yes? You have only begun to explore your abilities. Use your strength wisely. Farewell. It began as a dream, but in reality it was so much more. Pater helped us give Earth a second chance and gain a greater appreciation for life. Well, let's get started. I only hope we are worthy of his celestial gift and can all work together to make a better world.